What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy and welcome back to Wildermyth. Last episode we managed to split up our forces. We have uh, me, Parstar, and his daughter, uh, Rainy. So we have father and son duo with us kind of as a third wheel. Uh, we are securing the Mulcus Warren and we also have our other team up in Mare Glen here, which we need to fight off these Gorgons. We do have an incursion coming in 46 days. And everyone's ready to go. Everyone's in... Yeah, we're, we're in good health here. We don't have any ranged unit. Well, really the only ranged unit we have is Borza. But she is... Um, she could just infuse things, which is, I mean, technically a ranged unit. It would be nice to have another archer, but Parstar is on the other side. So let's head in here and see if we can defeat this area. They hike a mulchy hill above Mareglen, making their final approach. The trees here, they look younger than the wilder woods. Kind of odd. Why do you feel like this? Sometimes the heat and happiness, the luster, go gray and cold inside me. What does this mean? Should I say something? Borza leading the way and she's... And it, it's she who spots the warm glow ahead. Did it flicker? To life just now? Or maybe it's only been hidden behind trunks. It's an otherwise quiet place. Wonder what drew them here. The beast things. You've been around. Figure you might have a clue. Assumption's all I've got. But that's what... But that's what investigating's for. Guys, I think there's a campfire ahead. Must be someone. Is it our enemies? Ah, oh, wait. Maybe it's about... Maybe they're about to have a little... Gorgi sing-along, Frogman playing the guitar. I'll circle around. Or no, this is a, uh, isn't it? A gout of flame swirls amid these saber rocks, silent, bright, and smokeless. It's not a place to hang your kettle. It's beautiful. I wonder why it's not hot. Not hot? It's blistering. I feel it. Borza, you okay? Do you hear stories? Or is it just my mind that hears them? Borza moves near the sparkling, spiraling inferno, apparently unscorched. Borza, my blood, my heart, it's beating. I remember one tall story. It's brief. It's for children. In early days, the sky's back was not so stiff. She bent and saw a handsome gray squirrel who climbed on top of the redwood. Borza, you're getting really close. This squirrel, he chatted to her blithely. How he realized her stars in the autumn wind. How he relished in how he relished her stars and the autumn wind. Took comfort when she cast her cloudy hair. He thanked her for letting the sun thread through it. The sky was young then. She listened, raptorious, with language and was smitten. So when she watched him plant this forest and watched the trees grow tall where he placed them. The skies thought to impress him by planting her own. A, lighting, a lightning arm she gently lowered, and a great tree of scarlet was born. But it was a greedy tree. It grew and grew and grew, so large it consumed the forest the squirrel planted. And with without time for a word, words took much longer to say. In those days, it swallowed the squirrel's body, too. So the sky began to wail, a terrible gusting grief that left her face flushed dark. And the first rain was her tears, and the ocean filled with them. Ever after, thinking, of, thinking on the smile of that intrepid squirrel, she will weep and the world will feel rain. That's the story I remember, and this place remembers. It's a piece of here, something left behind. What's that mean? Stories of fire. Don't you hear them? They leap and lick at the imagination, at this altar, once people would gather and tell them. But they're dead now. Those people are dead. The flame somehow endures. Borza, come away. You should be burning. How are you not? Listen. I'm going to let it touch me. Yeah, we'll let it... Yeah. Oh, we're going to do a transformation. Okay. The fire in me, it carries it. It's heat and memories in myself. God, what is she going to turn into? 
But Borza, no. She leans close and let the, lets the fire climb her wrist. It's all right. I'll be all right. She stands unharmed as flames fly up, file up her arm, orderly as ants. But then, Borza, a sudden mass of fire, weightless, wreaks re Borza's body. Just as it seems, the whirling flames will devour her. They retreat into the coals. Borza stumbles back a few steps. What in? Put it in the dirt already. What are you doing? Wrong instinct, Kitty. It doesn't hurt. It just kind of tingles. In truth, I've always felt my heart was born to burn like a golden star. I meant to carry an amber with me and to let it blossom into brilliant flame. A big bestial uh, carter walling starts up, not far through the trunks, talking and fixing it. He has to wait. Legacy points. All right, so we have another transformation. Cool. Uh, ferried by wounds, no. A swift action, uh, Barrett engages a foe, forcing it to attack her. And we'll go with Sentinel. All right, all foes temporary plus one hit point. All right. So we have a pretty small map here. They gotta be around this area here. It can't be too far away. So let's, let's just move our forces up just a little bit at a time. Yeah, there they are. That didn't take long. I don't know, where can you go? You can go here. Alright. Well, let's put you there then. Let's get you as close as we can. Ooh, cone of fire. Single action. Ends turn. Shoot a blast of fire from your hand. Alright, well, they're too far away anyway, so let's... I think everybody's too far away. Alright, well then, we will infuse... this... for next round. Unless we can hit somebody. We can. All right, so he's pinned. We'll just sentinel everybody. Not sure if they're going to be able to reach us this turn. Nice. Oh, he blocked it. All right, well, that's all we can really do. We just have to wait for them to come towards us. Oh, man. Smash that guy. These rows, they can... They can attack. They shouldn't do much damage. Let's infuse this. What can this do? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna do... Because they're gonna hit every... Oh, they dodged it. That's not good. Well, we can get rid of... Mr. Frog here. Let's do this. I want to do this fire. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get close enough. And I need to get you out of corruption. This right here is fine. Yeah. 
Am I gonna be able to move you? No. I can't get anywhere. Oh, I guess, no. I'm gonna have to go here and just... Maybe take the corruption. Kind of hoping we can kill him. All we can really do is that. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Not so bad. We have block once again. Uh, Rainy could use it, yeah. So could um, Barret. Let's give it to you. The dust settles, the air smells uh, acrid and burnt. You can control that thing, I hope. Hmm. This arm. Yeah, I... Can you talk for a second, Borza? I mean, do you appear... I mean, you do appear to be on fire. Which... How do you feel about that? Alright, so... I really did hear something, right? Whatever presence was in the altar... The flames... It spoke in me more than me... More than to me. It's like a chorus of my primal ancestry. I heard them offer stories to the altar... Cron... Cravan... Cravain... Crafran of the Summer, the Queen of Ambers, the Sun Thief of the Emperor of Ashes are softer stories, like that little yarn about the sky and the tree of fire. I heard them, these fire keepers, people who drove their, their herds and built their shelters here, who poured out their mysterious... their mysteries by the altar they must have carved, and... I know it looks startling, but it's kind of, like, alluring, right? Also, I mean, who wouldn't fall in love with the Fire Maiden of Gloomsheave? Well, fine. Keeping you at arm's length is, is no longer enough, I guess. You can emulate yourself slowly, if you like, but make sure the others can still count on you. Is it... S sacred? Of me? Oh, I wasn't even considering such thing. I'm curious to learn more about all that stuff you said. The ancient people and so on. You're not going to tell me off, are you? Getting stronger. Getting stronger by the second. Okay, right, let's secure this. We're going to work faster. Kind of hoping to do it before this. Nice. Cleaned out. Good. Got two ingots and one spell thread. Now let's put some defenses here. Just one is fine. Alright. Got three heartwoods. We're going to put some defenses here as well. I think one is okay. By the time... By the time that the enemy actually gets to these territories, we're usually there on time. By the time they de uh, destroy the, the defenses. Okay, let's... Let's travel the group up here. They're gonna walk through this flooded area. I would like to come down here. There's a new recruit. Our objective is over here, so let's... Let's head down here. Let's see where this incursion is coming. Where? Oh, not too bad. Is there another one? Let's... You guys keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so they've come over there. I almost need to pull back here. 
fight this incursion size. I think we're going to need to come back. No, not you. I need you guys here. Where could we go here? Yeah, we need to build a bridge first. Yeah, you guys head back. You guys are going to fight this. Let's patrol. How... Plus one from infested tiles. Let's patrol this area. Alright, so we are here. We might be able to build defenses. I mean, we might as well. Might as well try. Perfect. Alright, so let's attack this. This is all flooded. Oh no, we don't want that. We just want... No, I just want you guys fighting. Who's over here? Yeah. Not you and not you. Just you just you three. Is this a smart idea? Strength of five. I mean we should be okay, shouldn't we? We're not gonna get any resources from this anyways, it's flooded. Flooded tiles provide no resources and slow down travel. I mean, is it really worth attacking this? Well, because we're not going to get anything from it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Let's head down here. Here, let's... This is the Great Sea, yeah, because there's nowhere to go this way. The only places we can bring them are over here. So let's let's gather here. Yes. All right, here we go. The big defense. Gorgons have come, silence falls, emerging in their tortured shapes. The beasts only breathe. Yeah. How should we def... Anyone got a pine cone? Stay hidden until the last moment. Yeah, we'll do this one. It's the highest chance of success. Fortunately, disguising their partly force becomes a clumsy mix of crossed intentions. Disorder reigns as they hurry to take better positions. Uh-oh. Wailing provides no armor this con- oh my god. So we have no armor this fight. Or, okay, never mind, we do. Just... Wailing. Well, at least we have some allies to work with. Let's take advantage of that. Two damage, not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Let's get you up here. Why don't you coming down here as well? Let's get everyone together. As best we can. I don't know where he's going to go. I guess we'll leave these two here. Not really providing any... any benefit being by themselves. I want to pull them back and help out this... this fight.
it looks like the defenses we actually made were were just this little outpost here. Which doesn't really help. You... Oh man, you're... You gotta be super close to take use of that cone of fire. I think I'm gonna... Put you... So I can infuse that. Let's move up here then. Always, always seems to block the first head. Alright, let's move up here. Where's he going? Let's do a scratch. That's the first one we've had. Yeah, see, I don't want to hurt ourselves. I don't want to hurt. Hmm. I would probably... We're going to hit ourselves with that. Could almost get rid of you. Can I hit you? No. Alright, we need to move you. Damn, he blocked that too. He is just out of range from any- everyone. Okay, well you can sentinel. There's nothing really we can do. Let's protect Borza. Could shoot this over here. Could almost. I almost want to do this because we might be able to get rid of two of these enemies. Maybe. Let's fire this. He blocked it. Well, at least we did damage to him. That row's going to move. He's getting his ass kicked right there. Nice dodge. What are you doing? Yeah, he's got to go as well. A lot of ranged attacks over here. Let's get rid of you. Can I hit... So that's a 90% chance. 
Oh, whatever. Damn it. We gotta get rid of this thing. Get him up here. He might perish this round. If I come this way... Oh, nice. Nice hit. I'll put you over here. And then this Ranger here. Uh, we No, we didn't kill him. Yeah, he's... That's fine. He wasn't part of our party anyways. This isn't starting... Oh my god. You think you have one beast? Whatever it is, he'll live through it. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till Anna's gonna have to be maimed. Damn. There's more foe cards. What is our objective here? We're getting like overrun. Big volley. Alright, let's move... Let's move over here and at least we can take some cover. Let's try and stay out of that corruption. Get rid of this row. I want to try and get rid of this raccoon. Noxious tongue. Damn it. Okay, let's see. 37%. Oh my god. I didn't want to do that. That was a misclick. Alright, well... Let's get rid of this. Let's get you right in here and hopefully you can be a distraction. I know you're weak. Please kill that frog. Hey, well, that's one threat gone. Nice. Damn it. Oh, he's not going to attack Kitty. Good. Thank you. That was a tough fight. They just kept coming. It's like an onslaught. 
Anna's gonna have some injury. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade this, definitely. It is her special ability. I do like that, but we're gonna go with her, her special ability here. Alright, they got stronger. Let's see what's up with you. What happened? Where does it show that? It should say in stats. It's not saying. Oh. No. Recovery rate, late middle aged. I'm not sure what debuff she got. Oh, she got a petrified right arm. I didn't see this happen. A stone claw. Man, she is a mess. She's like straight up wolf slash, she's like a stone wolf. That's crazy. So maimed. A hero is maimed. They travel to the nearest safe town and rest. Ready to fight again. Heroes can be maimed once per chapter. If they fall in battle a second time, they will die. Alright, so Anna's going... down there. We do need to get over here, though. Maybe that's where we want to spend, send our, the rest of our regimen. Let's come over here. Travel as a group. It's gonna take a bit, but we need time to heal, I think, anyways. Nice. Let's get the team back together. More calamities. Not gonna cancel any of those this time. All right, everybody is back, except for Anna. There we go. Guess we can only bring five. Let's bring, let's bring the original crew. Nineteen days away. Okay, let we'll just bring. Wait, hold on. Okay, we'll just bring them. Okay, they're here. I'm assuming this is flooded. Wait, who's left? No, I want you guys to build the bridge. She has an opportunity, actually. Sometimes Kitty would dig. A hobby is what it was. For a naturally skeptic heart, an expression of willing curiosity. Boris, I found something. So I have. Really? What'd you find? A rooting pig woman. Hey, root up any gloom flowers. The gloom's heave healer send folk out for it. Ha. Huh. Oh. No. No gloom flower. Well then? Want to see what I dug up? Not really. It looks like... Uh, what is it? What is this? A tablet. A stone tablet. It's got pictures on it. Careful, it might be cursed. Hey, is this Borza showing interest in my diggings? Well, you actually managed to find something this time. Looks like a... Looks like a map, right? We know some of these landmarks. 
find this place. It's been buried a long time. No, let's find it. Oh, we have to send... Yeah, well, let's see. Who do we have? We have... She's actually traveling and scouting. So she'll have to catch up with us. We have two warriors and a mystic. So, yeah, that's fine. Where are they going? All right, let's patrol this area. Story continues. I don't smell anything. Whatever dug this place must be dead. What do you think is down here, Borza? Perhaps nothing at all. In fact, it's very likely. And then it doesn't feel likely. You do kind of wonder, though, how many places like this echo beneath our feet. How many do we walk over in a day? Oh, dead end. They've come to a round chamber deep beneath the earth. Their torchlight reveals uneven ground, the old marks of tools, and the hard dirt. You bring a shovel? Something must be down here. Something is. This place is dangerous. We should come back here with more people. Seems dead. Uh, well, this old girl was probably meant as a security measure, so let's dig up what she was guarding. Let's dismantle the thing first, be methodical about it. Yeah, once again, uh, we're going to throw caution to the wind. And... Oh god, let's dig this thing up. I don't want to dismantle it because it might be friendly. It doesn't look friendly, <laughs> that's for sure, but let's dig it up. They keep digging. Digging. And digging. Welp. Yeah. Can we go now? Shit. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here. When we come back, we are going to be fighting sp uh, some new foes. Things we haven't fought before. And it looks like they already have an upgrade as well. So, when we come back, we will try to dispatch them. We have... Yeah, we have three of us here, so let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Look, it's three on three, so hopefully we're, we'll do okay. Uh, so if you want to join me on the next episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.